Hello, Leo. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 17th of July. This week ushers in a new phase of the year for you, which could prove to be truly sensational. It's really going to start to shape up from Friday when Mars arrives in your sign, followed by the Sun on Sunday and also the first of two Leo new moons which occur in the following month. This is known as a black moon and of course the second of these is a solar eclipse. But before then the Sun and Mars continue in a very tender part of your horoscope and are being tackled by the rather restless energies of Uranus. And it's possible that you could feel quite on edge with this combination. Uranus is about freedom and in your ninth solar house, it's certainly given you a taste since 2011 full time of opening up your uh, horizons to wider possibilities, new interests. Well, you may have just become a little bit bored with something that before then seemed really quite relevant. These two um, planets, the Sun and Mars, or the luminary in the case of the Sun, angling to Uranus, may bring something to the surface, some kind of essential truth, and it might not be a particularly comfortable experience. It's possible you're about to get something off your chest, something you really feel very strongly about. On the other hand, someone may tell you something about how they feel about you. On the other hand, maybe you're going to learn something which can change your outlook and philosophy in quite a significant, but perhaps also challenging way. But this week is not just going to have this rather tricky uh, aspect. It also has the leftovers from last week's quarter moon. And that's going to be working in exactly the same way. The type of issues you would normally shrug off, turn the other cheek to, could get under your skin a little bit if you let them. But what I want to provide huge encouragement to you around is that Venus forges a beautiful link this week with Jupiter. And the people that you do really click with and get you can be so important in uplifting your spirits. And perhaps you can also be very influential to theirs. And also Mercury in your zodiac sign is forging a fab angle to Saturn. Now Saturn may have not have brought you uh, in its entire uh, transit over the last two and a quarter years through your fifth solar house a whole lot of joy. But I think this particular aspect is very, very positive for you starting anything afresh and doing the planning, doing the research, but being very precise about it. In fact, if you've really thought something through, there's every chance that what takes shape this week can last for a very long time. And that brings us around to Friday and Sunday. Because Mars and the Sun are going to be continued to cooperate. But whereas in the 12th house they were raking up a lot of old debris and psychological stuff, uh, and of course were opposed by Pluto earlier in the month, now we have a situation where they're working very cooperatively together and alongside the Moon on Sunday. This is going to give you a lot of focus and your physical vitality is also going to leap as well. And whereas your mind may have been buzzing with lots of distractions earlier in the week, it can all start to fall into place as this week draws to a close. But the marvellous thing about this new energy coming in for you, Leo, is it's not a one-only hit. It's going to keep coming right through to the end of this year. And it's a chance for you to really embrace the most authentic side of your nature, to be much more fearless, to really focus what's important on what's important to you, to perhaps give yourself some kind of dynamic makeover, relaunch something that's already ongoing that you enjoy, or perhaps start something completely afresh. It's one of the most exciting phases you've moved into for a very long time indeed. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now. Hello, thank you so much for watching my video. I'd love you to join me at my Horoscope Ace app. You can find this at www.horoscope-ace.com. You can use it through Android, iOS, Apple or Facebook. 
Check out your Ascendant or your Moon site, or download your free birth chart. There's all your favourite videos, plus there are daily, weekly, monthly and yearly horoscopes for general, love, Chinese and Indian astrology. If your passion is tarot, there's my brilliant three-card money or love tarot readings too. And it's all there at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thank you.